New Jersey as well after already getting hit with storms earlier yesterday. They were crazy storms before before oh, Elsa arrived. Man, there was a lot to deal with. And we have Christopher Hoeing on the phone right now, Senior Communications Representative with Jersey City Power and Light. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we understand that you just wrapped a company storm response call. What's the latest that you know so far? So the latest is we have just over 3,500 customers out in New Jersey, the bulk of them being in our northern service region. We have about 1,200 customers out in the central shore area uh, and the rest up in the north. This is down quite a bit from where we were even just yesterday afternoon. Uh, you know, we had a single outage in Monmouth County yesterday that knocked out over 4,000 customers as a result of those thunderstorms. And the largest outages we do have remaining are actually related to yesterday's thunderstorms yeah. and not the tropical storm itself. Yeah, I mean, talk about yesterday, Chris. I lost power myself as a Jersey resident and, and during those storms. What were you seeing as the, as the main culprit there? Was it the wind knocking down trees on power lines? And what's the cleanup look like for you? So we saw it was definitely wind-related damage. We saw microbursts that uh, hit several areas. Uh, it wasn't just trees that came down. Our crews encountered everything from destroyed trampolines that had clearly blown out of yards uh, to other yard furniture and stuff like that. So it wasn't just, just trees that came down. There were numerous trees that did come yeah. down. But uh, another reason to make sure you secure anything that you have outdoors when high winds are forecasted. Oh, wow. Look at this video that we're showing. I don't know if you can see it, Chris. This uh, massive tree that fell down on a house there. Um, you know, looking at some of the damage that you just talked about, is it going to take a while for this to be cleared up or some roadways, um, I guess, going to be affected as well? So we expect everybody that is currently out will have their power back by 11:30 tonight. Uh, you know, obviously we had to slow down the restoration efforts a little bit overnight just because we have to bring the bucket truck down yeah. when wind gusts are right. up in that 35, 40 mile an hour range just for safety. Uh, and of course, with the rains that we've had this morning, we are keeping larger work zones to keep our teams safe, but they are out there and they are working to restore power. All right, 11.30 p.m. is your estimated time for having everybody restored. Christopher Honig from JCPNL, appreciate you joining us this morning and stay safe to your crews out there, helping yeah. everybody get back on track. Thank you.